Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking fall as I'm wearing a summer dress. I personally live in Florida, so I don't really know what any season feels like other than summer. I know that right now we are technically still in summer because the fall time officially begins September 22nd. It's 90 degrees today and it's 90 degrees here every day, whether it's December 20th or June 20th. But even here, we do have our like colder days. And by colder, I mean it's like 70 degrees. I think the lowest it really goes here is like 50, like it's like high 50s. And for that, for me, is literally freezing. I know that high 50s for some of you that live in the colder states. It's probably like summer to you, like you could go out in a freaking tank top, but I personally cannot handle that. So anyways, this is not the weather channel, so I don't know why I keep going on about the weather, but today we are talking fall perfumes. So I actually already made a fall perfumes video last year, and all of the perfumes in that video are still some really good fall perfumes, but obviously I wasn't going to do this video and include the same perfumes, so I included all like brand new perfume i don't think i had any of these perfumes um back when i made that video so at that time those were the perfumes that i had in my collection that i thought were really good for fall and they still are so definitely go check out that video i will link it for you guys right here if you want to know some more options for the fall time other than the ones i'm going to show you guys today but today i have 10 perfumes for fall that i'm going to show you guys i feel like 10 is a lot but i just couldn't narrow it down picking perfumes for the fall time is also really hard because fall is kind of like a transitional uh season like it's not really cold but it's not hot anymore it's not so like black and white like the summertime is or the winter time but then you have fall time and even spring too but fall especially because it's kind of like some days are really cold some days are kind of warmer and it's just like up in the air and so i feel like the perfumes that i chose here are kind of perfumes that will do in warmer climates and also cooler i feel like these will also do good in the winter time as well because they're not too light for the winter time and they're also not too warm and like super heavy for like the summertime right now like this transition of summer to fall in this video i also made it a point to kind of include a good mixture of high and low type of perfumes so a lot of these are very affordable and then i do have a little bit of more designer more high-end sort of scent and also a lot of these perfumes are brand new perfumes so even if you are like a watcher of my channel and you've watched like every single one of my videos There's a lot of perfumes in here that you guys have never seen in my opinion I feel like these are some really really good fall perfumes and I'm really excited to share them with you So let's get straight into this video. Okay, the first scent that I have for you guys is like the perfect fall scent This is also a perfect winter scent This isn't so much something that you can really wear in the summertime just because it has a very heavy quality to it It has a really loud projection and it's a stronger heavier more more dense thicker I guess perfume something that is gonna kind of like warm you up because it's just so like thick and warm this perfume is Jean Paul Gaultier Scandal I love this perfume bottle this was like honestly one of the things that drew me to buying this perfume is honestly this packaging like it's pretty simple but then it literally has like legs coming out of it but other than the packaging this is a beautiful sexy sweet honey perfume this is a honey bomb this to me smells like if you were to mix a straight up like jar of honey like just straight up honey mixed with olympia by paco Rabanne. it has that kind of like perfumey quality that that one has and if you were to mix the honey and that perfume together this is exactly what it would smell like. So if you like the scent of honey and you like the scent of Olympia from Paco Rabanne, this is going to be really, really good. It's a lot stronger though than Olympia. This is a heavy, heavy hitter. It's very, very sexy though. There is a very sensual quality to it and it's so rich. And it just smells insanely like expensive and luxurious. This has top notes of blood orange and mandarin orange. It has middle notes of honey, gardenia, orange blossom, jasmine, and peach. And base notes of beeswax, caramel, patchouli, and licorice. It also has a little bit of that licorice quality to it, which I personally really like. I don't like eating licorice. I hate licorice personally, but for some reason, I'm really into licorice perfumes. If you like scents like Lolita Lempica, the licorice in this is a lot heavier than it is in this, but I can definitely pick it up in this too. Like it does have a little bit of like a licorice quality to it, but if you do like licorice notes, you will probably like this perfume. But even if you don't, the licorice in it is not like so obnoxious that is like the main thing that you smell because it's mixed really nicely with the honey and that like only 
Limpea scent that I told you guys about. If you like scents like Black Opium, if you like scents like La Via Bell, if you like scents like Olimpea, this kind of gives you like the same vibe as those scents but even if you find like some of those scents a little bit generic and they're not too like original for you go for this one because really this one has like an original quality to it because of that honey note it's super super prominent in this this is a type of perfume that you wear and you walk into the room and literally everybody's eyes are on you this is like a center of attention type of perfume this is a perfect like leo scent if you are leo you need this perfume in your life if you want to smell like a hot girl go ahead and buy this perfume because this just smells so hot and sexy and it's just like the epitome of a fall slash winter scent if you do not have this in your collection and you like sweet scents you need this especially for this upcoming fall and winter time this is just amazing so that is scandal by jean paul gaultier okay, so the next scent that i have for you guys is a brand new perfume this is a brand new perfume to me and i'm still kind of testing it out but as soon as i smelled it i was like this is such a perfect fall scent it's a perfect transitional type of scent because i don't feel like it's a super strictly summer scent and i don't feel like it's like a strict winter scent it's like the perfect in between this one is Carolina Herrera 212 Sexy. The only perfume that I have tried from this house is a uh, good girl and that's about it i had actually seen a lot of people talk about this one but i didn't know that this came from carolina herrera so when i saw that i kind of had high hopes because i love good girl it is such a sexy perfume and honestly that's a pretty good fall scent too but we're not talking about that one in this video i've talked about that one in so many videos this one kind of smells like roses there is a pretty prominent rose note to this but in a really really good way i am not somebody that loves rose scents I I just find it to be way too mature for my taste but the rose scent in this is a really really pretty rose and the way it's mixed with everything else it really comes together really nicely and it doesn't really make this like a super antique or like a vintage rose there's like a sweet slash spicy quality to it it's also a little bit powdery this to me is like a really nice sort of evening scent nice dinner like a classy dinner it's a little bit more mature it's not so like a trashy scent it is sexy but i would say it's more so like mature sexy like an older sexier woman rather than like super super young as far as notes this has top notes of pink pepper mandarin orange and bergamot and middle notes of cotton candy candy gardenia flowers pelargonium i've literally never seen that note ever and rose and then base notes of vanilla musk sandalwood caramel patchouli and violet i feel like this is a really unique sort of blend of notes because you have a little bit of like a spicy sort of citrusy opening in the top but then you get cotton candy and rose it's like such a really unique blend of so many things that i wouldn't necessarily think would go well together but somehow they mix together really really nicely this is like a perfect balance of floral and sweet i wouldn't say this is either like i wouldn't categorize this as just being a sweet scent and i wouldn't just say that it's a floral scent because i can smell both when i smell it i get an equal balance of sweet and floral I get that rose but i get that vanilla right away and i get the cotton candy the sweeter notes like right away to kind of balance those like very floral notes like the flowers gardenia rose violet there's a ton of florals in here but it's being balanced really nicely by the sweeter notes i would think this would be a really good kind of like first date sort of scent it's very very romantic kind of sultry kind of like alluring and a little bit more mature it's not juvenile at all but also mature in a really good way it also kind of smells like berries a little bit like if you like a sort of powdery rose berry like kind of a scent then you are really going to like this it's a really pretty scent kind of a good mixture of floral and sweet i honestly am not a huge fan of the bottle it looks like a little pill i don't know what they were intending out of this bottle it's kind of awkward it doesn't stand up because it's just round on both sides and then if you put it like this it just kind of like rolls so i don't know what they were thinking about this bottle but the scent is really nice this fragrance has been out for a decent amount of time so you can find it for a very good price online um as per usual i will have all these perfumes listed in their cheapest prices in the description bar so if you are interested in any of these check out the description and i found it at tj maxx so that is 212 sexy by carolina hero kind of going like high low high low so the next one is a little bit more higher end so this one is burberry her 
anything in the category of Baccarat Rouge, I didn't want to show Cloud in this video because I feel like I have shown that fragrance so much. Anything in the category of Cloud, Baccarat Rouge 540, Banana Republic, Dark Cherry and Amber, and honestly so many others because there's so many perfumes that have come out like those scents. I think those scents are really, really perfect for the fall time because they have this sort of cold cozy vibe to them very hard to explain and i wanted to specifically include this one because there's something about this that i absolutely love even more than all of those other ones that i just mentioned this one has a very prominent strawberry note to it and although you would think of like a strawberry as being like a very upbeat almost like a summer fruit there's something about it that i think this will do so well in the winter time because that sort of coldness like very ozonic unique just super super original scent to it and that scent mixed with the fruity vibe that this one gives you is just phenomenal and I really like this one. This is the fruitiest out of all of those perfumes that I just mentioned. This has so many fruits in it and I think that's what I love about it because I love fruitier scents. The top notes in here are strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, blackcurrant, mandarin orange, and lemon. So there is so many berries in here and that's really all you get in that opening. It's just like this bright fruity berry opening. And then you have the middle notes of violet and jasmine. Jasmine is just an incredible floral. I do not like floral but jasmine is just my all-time favorite and then you have base notes of musk vanilla oak moss cashmere and woody notes amber and patchouli i don't really get any sort of patchouli in here but this is a very very long lasting fragrance usually patchouli is the culprit behind these very long lasting scents as much as i don't like patchouli there is something about it that is very long lasting and it's really nice in this scent because i don't smell it but i think it's what's giving this like that really long lasting quality and then i can smell a little bit of the woody notes I can definitely smell a little bit of that amber, the vanilla in here. I feel like I can smell a little bit of each note, but then you have that like ozonic quality. This is perfect for you that like a warmer sort of kind of sweet scent, but you also don't want it to be too much. I don't know how to explain it. It's like light but heavy at the same time because it's not like a light fragrance where you spray it on and it'll literally disappear off your skin and like... A minute it's something that you put on and it'll last you it's just really good and if you especially love the scent of strawberry like a strawberry creamy sort of colder scent this is that for you and it's just such a nice cozy scent for the fall times this will be absolutely incredible so that is burberry her taking it back down we're gonna go to another affordable fragrance perfect for fall this is guess by marciano this is a perfect fall scent because it's not too too sweet but it's not like airy floral it's the perfect mixture and like when you first spray this it starts off a little bit more floral and lighter and then once it dries down it dries down to a really kind of more creamier vanilla almost a little bit like gourmand it's a really good scent that you can find for a very affordable price this has top notes of curacao cardamom carambola which is just star fruit grapefruit and middle notes of honeysuckle jasmine and peony base notes of vanilla musk and woody notes when you first spray this scent you kind of almost get like this sort of tangy feel because it has a little bit of citrus in the top you're not gonna think that this is a sweeter scent just based off of that first spray but let this dry down on your skin and it creates such a beautiful kind of sensual vanilla sweet scent that mixes so nicely with those top fruits not top fruits well top fruits but top notes and curacao is in here as well so you do get this sort of alcoholic like drink type of vibe to be completely honest i just kind of put this together but this one is kind of reminding me a little bit of 212 sexy like they both have this sort of i don't know sweetness to it mixed with like florals at the same time except this one is a little bit sweeter this one doesn't have the rose scent so they are different like they are different scents but they kind of give off the same vibe so if you have either of these then you will probably like the other because they both give you this kind of similar powdery syrupy sweet but a little bit of floral vibe this one has really good longevity and projection this is really good value for your money i think you can literally find this for like 15 bucks for the huge like 3.4 bottle i personally found mine at burlington but 
I just find this to be a really good fall scent because it's not something that is going to suffocate you in sweetness, but it's also not too light where it's not going to last on you at all. It's a really good sort of in-between sort of scent, so I had to mention Guess by Marcia. Okay, so taking it back up to a little bit more of a higher end fragrance, I could not do a fall video without including this scent because, oh my god, this is just such an incredible scent to be honest i wore this all throughout summer and i loved it i was getting compliments left and right and i'm going to wear it in the fall and winter time spring time for me this is like an all-year-round scent because i personally love to smell sweet all year round like i don't care what season it is i don't care if it's 200 degrees outside I'm wearing my sweet scent. And this one is a really delicious, sexy scent. So this is La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is my second Jean-Paul Gaultier scent in this video. This packaging is just like top tier. It is so, so good. I actually made like a first impression. So if you want to see like my first impression of this perfume when I first like got it in the mail, definitely go check that video out. I will link it up here. This is a sweet gourmand scent it is so beautiful it's honestly pretty simple with its notes but the combination here just smells so complex it has top notes of pear and bergamot it has middle notes of floral notes and leather and base notes of vanilla vetiver amber and musk i think the top like three notes that i can personally smell on this i can smell a very prominent pear note which is what this kind of opens up with it's a little bit more of an airy sweet opening and then once it dries down it gets thicker more dense more delicious and sweet the second note i can smell is definitely that vanilla that vanilla is super prominent all throughout this scent and then also a little bit of vetiver this in my opinion is a scent that a lot of men really like on women my fiance really likes this i will actually be doing another video with him i don't know when we're gonna film it but we are gonna film it soon we already filmed like him rating some of my perfumes and that was like we had so much fun doing that video so he he and I both can't wait to film another one of these and this will definitely be in my next video with him because I really really want him to smell this on camera with you guys because he loves this every time I put it on. It is a very very sexy scent, super super sensual, very mysterious, kind of alluring. It is so so sexy. This is definitely a perfume you wear on like a first date, a perfume you wear when you're trying to get noticed. It smells like a delicious baked pear pie. Is pear pie even a thing? I don't know, but it smells like a pear pie. Like a delicious, yummy, baked vanilla pear pie. I feel like if it was just like pear pie sort of a smell, it would almost kind of smell maybe a little bit cheap, but that vetiver really, really gives this that expensive feel to it that really sexy mysterious kind of smell and i feel like that's all because of that vetiver so even if you don't like vetiver it's not so prominent in this but it really really is kind of boosting this up if you love gourmand sweet scents it's like a literal caramelized pear like vanilla mixture if that sounds delicious to you you are going to love this and i'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard about this scent because this is so so talked about here on youtube like it's like one of the most recommended perfumes i feel like in the whole fragrance community this will literally do so well in the fall time because it's so cozy and it'll just kind of warm you up i feel like whoever you're with will not be able to keep their hands off of you when you are wearing this perfume so definitely want to check out if you don't have this in your collection so taking it back down this is actually a designer scent but it's been out for a very long time that you can now find this for very cheap you can find a big bottle of this stuff for like 30 bucks which i think is a really good price considering it is a Burberry perfume. This is such a sexy but classy sort of a scent. This is Burberry body. I think this perfume bottle is so stunning. This is like a lady in a suit. But there's also like a signature scent worthy scent <laughs> to this perfume. It's something that you can wear every day because it's light enough to wear every day. And it's not like headache inducing. And I think this will do really well in the fall because, again, it's that scent where it'll just sit really nicely but without giving you a headache. The biggest reason why I personally purchased this perfume is because I was doing a little bit of research on a scent that I used to use with my cousin when we were young. We used to get that perfume in Greece all the time. I think I've mentioned that perfume 
in one of my videos, I think. I don't know which video, video that it was. But the perfume looks like this. It's called See-Through Amethyst. And I think the brand is See-Through. And that perfume, I just remember it smelling so good. But I literally have not smelled that perfume in like 12 years. Maybe even more than that. And so I feel like the scent memory has kind of faded. And it's a perfume that you cannot find anymore. Like anywhere. Because we've tried. Like me and my cousin have both tried to look it up online. And we just can't find it anywhere. It is on Fragrantica somehow. Fragrantica is amazing because it literally has like every perfume you can think of. Even the ones that you used to wear like back in the day. I was looking at the like what perfumes this reminds you list. And this actually was one of them. And as soon as I saw that I was like let me go to TJ Maxx right now. Because I had seen this at TJ Maxx before. And I had to pick it up. Any scent that smells similar to that perfume I will buy. And when I smelled it. It really, really smells like that perfume. Like, it really gives me that vibe. This one is a little bit more mature smelling. It's a little bit more powdery as well. But it really reminds me of it. And so it just kind of takes me back to a really, really happy time in my life. So I think that's another reason why I'm, like, so much more in love with this perfume. But anyways, scent-wise, this has top notes of peach, wormwood, freesia, middle notes of rose, sandalwood, and iris, and base notes of musk, cashmere wood, vanilla, and amber. Kind of opens up with like that freesia, the peach. It's kind of like a more sort of airy, fresh opening, but then it dries down. You get a lot of amber in here. I feel like this is a perfume where you have to like amber to like this scent, and that amber gives it like a little bit of this sexy, mature quality to it, which I feel like is why this is good for the winter time. And then that vanilla is also giving this a lot of sweetness. It is also like pretty musky, but in a really good way. I feel like some musky scents will straight up smell like sweat and this does not smell like sweat it smells very clean but clean sweet it's not clean and boring i do find this fresh but i also find this very very creamy and i think that's why i love it there's vanilla in it it's like a vanilla rose almost kind of similar to this one again i feel like we're all coming back to this it's a completely different vibe but i feel like the rose in this is similar to the rose in this a very sweet rose not really like a mature fresh like floral rose and actually there's a couple elizabeth taylor perfumes that this smells kind of similar to if you guys have ever tried sparkling white diamonds or brilliant i think it's brilliant diamonds or brilliant white diamonds one of those two but i recently picked up sparkling white diamonds because again it was one of the perfumes that it recommended me that smelled similar to that see-through one that i showed you guys earlier this is really good it's very modern very classy this is definitely not the perfume you would wear to like a club because it's more so like a sophisticated classier sort of a scent super super feminine something that you wear to maybe like meet your boyfriend's parents it is like an innocent scent like that but i think this will do very very good for the fall time that is burberry body okay so the next scent i'm gonna kind of briefly talk about this because i feel like i have included this perfume in so many videos already but this is ysl manifesto one of my all-time favorite scents the video that i recently did with my fiance of him rating my perfumes this was one of them and he loved this perfume and i love it this is one of my absolute favorite scents ever it just smells so intoxicating it's like a very spicy oriental vanilla sort of a scent very like boss woman boss chick if you guys have ever watched the devil wears prada this is literally miranda Priestley in a perfume bottle like this is what she would smell like. It's mature, but not too mature. It's mature enough. Very sexy, very intoxicating. It has top notes of blackcurrant, bergamot, and green notes. Middle notes of jasmine, sandback, lily of the valley, and base notes of vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood, and cedar. If you like the scent of Libra from also YSL, they kind of give you the same vibe. They're not dupes and they don't smell similar, but they give off this similar kind of elegant classy vibe to them so if you like that scent try this one out but they are different enough where even if you don't you might still like this one but this is just definitely a scent that you just have to try because it's very very hard to explain so that is ysl manifesto the next scent is so delicious this is for all of you just straight up vanilla lovers out there this is a very very vanilla vanilla based scent i know all the other perfumes that i just showed you guys all pretty much have vanilla in them and they all have the sweetness to them but this one is like strictly vanilla i included this one in my i think it was like i found the best vanilla scent and it was this and this is the skylar vanilla sky perfume i bought this perfume because it was recommended from kathleen lights i feel like i have made 
a very decent dent in this perfume because I cannot stop wearing it. I know for a fact that when it starts getting a little bit cooler here, because it never really gets cold, but when it starts to get a little bit cooler and I just want to feel very, very cozy, this will be probably all used up by that time because this, every time I smell it, it just puts me in such a cozy vibe. Every time I smell it, I think of fuzzy socks, a really co warm, cozy pajama set, a nice furry blanket, curling up and watching like a really cozy, nostalgic movie, like a Disney movie or something like that. That's what this reminds me of. This is such a delicious vanilla. If you are a vanilla lover and you don't have this vanilla scent, you need it. I think Kathleen said in her video that every time she would wear this, her like dogs could not stop sniffing her. And that kind of tells you something. This smells like a sweet dessert. Like I don't think anybody, not even your dogs, but I don't think anybody will be able to get their hands off of you because of how sweet and dessert-like and just so gourmand and delicious this smells. This smells like a really delicious sweet cappuccino drink. The top note is actually cappuccino. There's sweet orange, bergamot, middle notes of vanilla, cinnamon, Sp Spanish jasmine, base notes of caramel, sandalwood, cedar, and amber. The main notes that I can really pick up out of this is probably cappuccino, vanilla, and caramel. Like just sweet and normally when you think about something as sweet as that you might think it would be like very headache inducing but somehow it's not there is sort of a lighter quality to it even though it is so so heavy on those sweet notes you can find this at sephora it is around like 70 something dollars so it is a little bit pricey but it just is such a delicious vanilla scent that i think any vanilla lover needs in their collection especially for the fall and winter time this smells like if you walked into a really cozy coffee shop it's not a, like a bitter coffee sort of a scent it's very very sweet dessert coffee cappuccino basically that is skylar vanilla sky if you want to know a more detailed description on this go check out that video that i did on like my f favorite vanilla scent because i do talk about it a little bit more in that video okay, the next scent i'm really excited to show you guys this scent because i feel like some people might be a little bit surprised that i'm going to show you guys this scent this scent is actually angel muse from thierry mugler now i know that i have said that i don't like the original angel and i don't like the scent like i don't like smelling like it but i actually like it as a scent like if that makes any sense i like smelling it is what i'm trying to say but i don't like smelling like it that perfume gives me so many scent memories that's why i love it alien and angel are like my top two perfumes that give me like the most scent memories because i kind of like grew up with those scents in my family like my cousins used to wear them and so that's just what i think when i think of those scents is like my childhood but i recently picked this one up because i've been hearing so many people talk about angel muse so this is the angel muse edt they have an eau de parfum as well kind of preferred the notes in this one and i feel like at some point i'll probably get my hands on the original edp as well but for now i'm really really happy and satisfied with this one this is so so good such a perfect fall scent because it has that cozy vibe there's a very very prominent chocolate note in these perfumes in the original eau de parfum as well as in this they have like a hazelnut it's like nutella it kind of smells like nutella in a bottle but nutella with the original thierry mugler fragrance dna like a mixture of the two it's a very unique combination. I can promise you that when you smell this, you have never smelled a perfume like this ever in your life. This looks to me like something that you like preserve the body of an alien. Like I can just imagine a little actual alien inside of this bottle. Um, I don't know if my brain is just twisted, but that's what I think of when I look at this. This has top notes of passion fruit, mandarin orange, and lemon. Middle notes of hazelnut cocoa spread, cassis, and base notes of vetiver, akigala wood, chocolate, and caramel. So there's a lot of chocolate in here. In the middle notes, you have that hazelnut cocoa spread. And in the base notes, you still have like more chocolate. You have caramel. There's a very sweet quality to it, but it also has this sort of bitterness to it i don't know if that's maybe coming from the vetiver the akigala wood the cassis but mixed with the sweet it's almost smells like dark chocolate like you know how dark chocolate is like a perfect mixture of like sweet but a little bit bitter i cannot explain this perfume it's way 
deeper than just saying this is a chocolate scent because there's so much more to this than just that chocolate element. Weirdly enough, Although this is an angel flanker and angel is known to be a patchouli bomb, like the most prominent note of angel and the reason why so many love it and so many don't love it is because all you can smell out of angel is patchouli and that is one reason why I don't personally like to wear it because on me all I can smell is that patchouli and it literally drives me crazy. This one surprisingly, it smells like angel, like you get that angel DNA but there is no patchouli in here. And that is also another reason why I wanted to buy this version over the EDP version because the Eau de Parfum has patchouli in it. And I just don't love patchouli. I mean, there's perfumes where I can handle it. As you saw, a lot of perfumes I just showed did have patchouli. But for some reason, the patchouli and angel is just too much for me. So when I saw that this one had that angel DNA, but without the patchouli, I was like, huh? There is just something so addicting to it. Like if you smell it, you're gonna just not want to stop smelling it. But you do have to like some form of angel to like this scent, I feel like, because I do still smell that angel uh, scent in this. It is prominent, but there is that chocolate note. The other notes do kind of make this different enough where they smell like two different scents. But I don't know. I don't know if I would exactly recommend this to you if you are like Angel's biggest hater in the world. But I do feel like they are different enough. It's just a very, very unusual sort of fruity gourmand. It's a gourmand where gourmand has never been done like this ever. Perfect fall scent. It's definitely a heavier scent. It has insane projection, insane sillage, and insane lasting power. So that is Angel Muse from Thierry Mugler EDT. All right. The last scent, I saved the best for last. It quickly turned out to be like one of my favorite perfumes ever. And I was not expecting it at all. And I'm even going to go as far to say that if you guys want to get one perfume from this entire video and you don't know which one to get, this needs to be the perfume that you get. And this is Euphoria from Calvin Klein. So... I have mentioned in so many videos that pomegranate is one of my favorite scents and somebody actually recommended me that I try uh, Euphoria. Thank you for that recommendation because this has become my favorite scent like ever. This is so good. It's so sexy. It has insane projection, long lasting, middle last hours. And amazing sillage. It's like it just leaves this like intoxicating trail. And I cannot get over the pomegranate scent in the opening of this perfume. And then I love the base. I love everything about this perfume. Like I cannot speak any more highly of it. This has top notes of pomegranate, raspberry, passion fruit, persimmon, peach, and green notes. It has middle notes of orchid, lotus, champeca. I'm not sure what that is. And base notes of mahogany, amber, musk, violet, patchouli, and vanilla. I find this to be so sexy. One of the sexiest perfumes that I have in my collection. This is a heavy hitter. You do not need more than like top three sprays of this because you will literally get people sick around you because it's a very, very strong scent. I actually kind of make that mistake the first time I put this on because I normally like go ham with my perfumes and I just like spray them all over my body but you cannot do that with this one this is a strong scent so literally just do like three sprays and you're done you're gonna be smelling like it all day but that's all you need it's a very just original scent and I have not smelled this scent in any other perfume that I own and I own a lot of perfumes or any perfume that I have ever like smelled. Not even that I own, but just in general that I have ever smelled. It kind of reminds me honestly of Angel a little bit. Weirdly enough, it's definitely not like a dupe to Angel because I don't think anything can dupe Angel because it's so original. But there's something that kind of reminds me of like Angel a little bit. It almost kind of gives me a little bit of a masculine cologne vibe to it and i personally find those scents really really sexy because it has like this really good balance of like a feminine and masculine sort of scent like combined together and i feel like the name is so perfect for this because every time i smell this scent it just smells euphoric the scent that you have just never smelled before that pomegranate in it is so dark and deep and delicious. And one of my all favorite scents from Bath and Body Works is Be Enchanted. And that's like a really prominent sort of like pomegranate scent. And although this is like not really that, I feel like this mixed with Be Enchanted, perfect combination. It's a very like warm woody scent, perfect fall, perfect winter scent. 
honestly i wore this a lot in the summertime too if i find a scent i don't really care what season it is i will wear it any season unless it's miami glow from jlo that is just a summer perfume for me i feel like i can wear this all year round but especially for the fall and winter because of its more heavy quality this is also a very very highly complimented perfume i feel like both men and women really love this perfume and in general this is a really really big compliment getter because there's something really really likable to it um what i don't like the only thing i don't like is this weird bottle it is so awkward to like spray on like i I hate this bottle. It's just the type of scent that you wear and somebody will literally like stop you dead in your tracks and ask you like, what are you wearing? I feel like you can find like a big bottle for like 40 bucks. I found this one at TJ Maxx. Definitely check those places out because they do bring this uh, perfume back out a lot. And they actually bring out a lot of its flankers. Like there's Deep Euphoria. I think there's like Euphoria Blossom or something like that. I don't know. There's a bunch of them. I actually picked up Deep Euphoria as well which I'll talk about in a different video. But anyways, definitely check out Euphoria from Calvin Klein. All right, guys, so that is all of the perfumes in this video. I know that that was a lot. When I first was thinking about doing this video, in my head, I was like, maybe I'll do like top five, maybe top six. But then as I started picking these out, I couldn't stop. And so I ended up picking like 10 of them. But I just couldn't let go of any of these because I feel like they're all just very fitting into the fall time. A lot of these will do good in the winter time as well. But I will We'll do like a separate strictly like winter scents when that time comes too but for now i feel like this is just like the best for the fall that i have in my current collection so i hope you guys like them let me know if you have any of these perfumes that i talked about if any of these are like your top favorite perfumes if you hate any of them i love to hear all of your comments so definitely leave them down below but i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on and i will see you guys in my next video